Hello everyone, welcome to Peach Discovery. I'm Katie, I'm the nutritionist for Peach Dish, and today we're learning all about tomatoes. A tomato is eaten as a vegetable, however, it is actually a fruit, technically. So the reason we might think it's a vegetable may be in part because in the late 1800s, the Supreme Court ruled that um, tomatoes were a vegetable for taxation reasons, and I guess it stuck. It's a fruit, though. So tomatoes are a member of the nightshade family, which means they're related to potatoes, peppers, and eggplant. So it's believed that the tomato was first domesticated by the Aztecs in present-day Mexico, somewhere around 500 BC, but these days it's grown worldwide. As far as name origins go, it probably came from the Nahuatl word for swelling fruit. As its scientific name, uh, Lycopersicum actually means wolf peach. And the Italian name for tomato is Pomodoro, and that means golden apple. So the Europeans may have called this guy a poison apple, however, um, because they thought that tomatoes up until maybe 200 years ago or so were poisonous. Um, they thought this about many nightshades, including eggplant. Um, not poisonous at all, of course. <laughs> um, we eat them all the time. Even though they thought they were poisonous to eat, they did continue to grow them, but they grew them for decoration. So there are over 10,000 varieties of tomatoes. Here is just a few. We have cherry and grape tomatoes, which are different kinds of tomatoes. Grape tomatoes, as you can see, are more oval shaped and they're actually hardier, so they're easier to transport. They're also not quite as sweet as cherry tomatoes. A simple preparation that you can do with these little varieties right here is um, to throw them in the oven. So what you'll do is you'll put them all on a sheet pan. You don't have to cut them. Um, you will drizzle them with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and throw them in the oven. You can pair them with other veggies, of course, like one of our favorite things to do is maybe okra, which is what we do in a recipe called gingered eggplant with roasted okra. Um, it's on our website, it's delicious, so go check it out. So these right here are Roma tomatoes, and we actually like to send these in our meal kits because they're a little bit smaller. Um, they're extremely versatile, and you can just slice or dice them up. You can cook them or eat them raw. Um, yep. Um, these heirloom tomatoes over here you see are bumpier. They're more irregular, and there is a definition of heirloom tomatoes, and they are varieties that have bred true for over 40 years. So a green tomato is an unripe tomato. The green tomato you see here is a popular thing to slice up and fry, fried green tomatoes. Um, and they're actually not fully ripe. That's why they're still green. There are, however, varieties of tomato that will be green when ripe. This globe or slicing tomato that you see here um, is probably what you're used to seeing in a grocery store. So there's many, many ways to enjoy tomatoes. Um, you can eat them raw or cooked. One of our favorite ways and one of the more simple ways is to actually take your raw tomato um, you'll slice it up, nice thick slices. Um, you'll take your bread, it's toasted, you'll layer on plenty of mayonnaise, and then you'll slide your tomato slices right on there, sprinkle of salt, sprinkle of pepper, uh, close her on up, and you've got yourself a delicious tomato mayo sandwich. So another thing that you can do with those same um, slabs of tomato is make tomato pie. In fact, our culinary director actually came up with an amazing recipe for tomato pie, and it's on our website, so you should go check it out. So another one of my personal favorite things to do with raw tomatoes is to simply dice them up and then mix them together with uh, maybe some jalapeno, plenty of cilantro, some onion, and a squeeze of lime juice and a little salt and pepper, and you've got yourself a simple pico de gallo, which is perfect for taking to a potluck or sprinkling on a burrito bowl, which we've got a recipe, or plenty of recipes for burrito bowls as well. So I've told you a little bit about the history, I've told you a little bit about how you might cook them. Um, so here's some fun facts that we found about tomatoes that you can use to impress your friends at the party that you probably brought 
Pigo de Gallo to, right? Fun fact number one is that the biggest tomato plant in the world was at one point in Walt Disney World, um, and it was the size of an Olympic swimming pool. I guess it's not a small world after all. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams do come true. It really is the most magical place in the world. <laughs> the largest tomato ever recorded was actually nine pounds. Um, that's huge. That's bigger than me when I was born. So that's all I got for tomatoes. Hope you learned quite a bit today. So here at Peach Dish, we're very dedicated to seasonal ingredients. So for tomatoes, you'll find them in our meal kits between June and October. Um, if you want to learn more, just go to our website, peachdish.com. And if you want to know uh, specifically what ingredients are in season, either now or later, um, go to peachdish.com seasonality. Bye. Peach out, y'all.